what's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my youtube channel today i'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection or server issue in dota 2 so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right onto my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be a big support for me guys. I mean it's free for you and you will support my work here on YouTube a little bit I'm gonna thank you for that right now, and I would just say let's get started So uh, the first step in order to fix these kind of connection issues is gonna be to uh, navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen and Clicking right onto the window symbol navigating onto the settings and That's the next step. I want you to navigate right onto network and internet going down to network and sharing center and afterwards you're gonna go to the or navigate to the top left corner of your screen where you're gonna see four different links so uh, I want you to click on the second one where it says change it up to settings so once this tab pops up you're gonna click on the top left corner so internet or ethernet uh, it just depends on which we're using so if you're using a cable it will pop up as ethernet and if you're using Wi-Fi it will pop up as internet so right click disable once disabled, we're going to wait a few seconds and enable it again. This could take quite a few moments, so wait patiently until it's connected again. And when it's connected, you should be able to uh, close this tab again. So let's wait. It's connected. We can close this tab. And as the next step, I want you to click under the blue printed um, text. So it's either internet or ethernet again. Once the ethernet or internet status pops up, you're going to click onto properties and double click the internet protocol version 4. So once this tab pops up, I want you to enable use the following DNS server addresses and on the preferred DNS server, I want you to type in 4 times 8 at the top and on the alternate DNS server, I want you to type in 2 times 4 and 2 times 8. So once you did that, I want you to apply and hit OK. And once you did that, you should be able to close all tabs. The last step is going to be to click the Windows key and click R and once uh, this one pops up, I want you to type in CMD and hit enter. Then this window will pop up and I want you to type in what I'm going to type in. So IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. So once this uh, successfully flushed, you should be able to close the window. And that's it for the video, guys. I hope I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It would really make my day. And I'm really sorry, guys, if I couldn't help you, but I'm just trying to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.